Hey everybody, Steve here. I don't know if you can see the gleam in my eye, but I went. So Gary for work, he's, he's, uh, he was in the chess pie video I did, uh, last week. Um, he's quite, he's quite the chef as well. So he crafted this barbecue sauce and he had some, with some pulled pork. Now, finding pulled pork over here is about as easy as finding unicorn meat, all right? So it, you really got to know where to look for it, but it's there. And he told me about this place. I went there yesterday, and and so you see the sign in the grocery store, and it says, it, it says, and it's closed doors, and it's like frosted, so you can't see past it. But the sign over it says, for non-Muslims. So, you know, you kind of, you know, okay, what's going on in here? So you, you go and you have to push a button to open the door. The doors whoosh, open up. So, I mean, it, it's not like a, like a sensor, like you walk up to the door and the doors just open because that might accidentally open the door. You have to purposefully push the button and whoosh, the doors open. And it was just like, like I could hear angels singing when I walked in this place because it was just pepper, pepperoni salami there was bacon there y'all i haven't had bacon since january when i was home now before that december late december and i just i was like oh so i've not had pork since december so um I, I thanks gary he made some this special barbecue sauce the kind of a mustard based barbecue sauce so what I'm going to do today, I'm getting around to it. Sorry, I've taken the long way. Like I said, you can see the gleam in my eye. I can't wait. I'm going to make some pulled pork in the crock pot. And uh, I'm pretty excited about this. Now, I, I'm going to use about, it's probably two and a half to almost three pounds of pork that I got. That's a lot of meat. And I'm going to eat it. I'm going to be eating it. Now, I've kind of gotten away from, from, eating on something for a long time like I'll, I'll i've gotten to where like when i make a pot of beans i'll eat beans till they're gone and I'm, I'm actually starting to use my freezer now this is nice having a full-size refrigerator and, I'm, and with a freezer and i'm frozen some stuff so i froze some of the onion pie i made some soup and everything else so anyway i'll freeze some of this and uh and and pace myself right so i don't get pork overload but uh Anyway, I'm gonna flip the camera around and we'll get cracking, so stand by one. All right, back again. So like most things in the crock pot, it's pretty easy. Dump it in and turn it on and leave it alone, right? So I'm gonna uh, uh, start off here now. This is uh, two yellow onions that I just, just diced up. That's gonna go in here. That's gonna be my the bed of this. Now you don't have to use onion. You can just... Uh, Put it in there. I, I like. I love onions, and I love the taste of onions. Actually, I'm going to put half of them down as kind of the bed, and then I'll put the onions over the top. Okay. Now, I've, here's my. Here's the thing. So one. One of the things that I noticed in the store, I, I was looking for uh, the the uh, pork uh, shoulder. And I uh, looked and looked, and they just didn't have what I, it, it didn't have in there what I associated pork shoulder to look like, like a big round, you know, three pound pork shoulder. And what I ended up getting, <laughs> they had this, I was like, you guys don't have any pork shoulder. I go, oh yeah, we do, we do. And they cut it up like this. So these are like little, you know, one pound slices of pork shoulder. So... I'm gonna go, um, I, I made a rub for them with uh, uh, salt, pepper, oregano, uh, half, a uh, half a teaspoon of cumin. I put some red uh, chili peppers in there. Uh, uh, I said salt, didn't I? Salt, pepper, uh, and a lot of paprika. And I'm just make a rub, a simple rub. Uh, the directions and the ingredients are down below. If you want to check it out, exactly what I put in there. So all I'm going to do is just basically um, take this rub and rub it on the 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 roast, and just kind of rub this in and get a nice covering for it. 
Now, like I said, this is a lot of meat. Now, you guys noticed uh, Nathan now, I, I will tell you, my children inspire me. And Nathan did that, the, his most recent video was uh, the smoked chicken with the cherry, with the cherry uh, wood smoked chicken. Now, you'll, you're going to see a lot more videos from, from Nathan because uh, he's quite the, he's quite the chef. And that boy, uh, he, uh, he, he's doing pretty good with that. <laughs> he's, uh, I think he's a much better griller than I am. He's, he's, uh, he really enjoys it. But he, uh, we were talking, you know, because the plan one day is to have a farm and, and uh, have Nathan come along. And Can you guys see all right? Yeah, I'm just rubbing this, this rub here on the meat. And uh, Nathan and I kind of share, you know, adventures on the farm and, and all, any other kids that want to come back. And uh, shoot, I'll take any of y'all along too if you want to come along. <laughs> so I don't know, I'm hope I'm going to have enough room in here. I think so, yeah. And uh, anyway, so we were talking about, you know, what we're going to have on the farm and all that and talking about animals. And, of course, I, you know, I'm a big fan of beef, as is Nate. I just didn't realize how much of a fan of beef Nathan is. So we were talking about cows, and Nathan was like, well, you know, I think we, uh, we'll have, you know, two cows for ourselves um, for, for our own meat use. And... Uh, per year. And I was like, oh, Nathan, I was like, well, your mom and I really don't need a lot of, a lot anymore, Nathan, you know, and a lot of meat like that. That's a lot of meat. And uh, it goes, Daddy, I don't think you realize how much meat I eat. <laughs> so, so he cooks those, he's going to smoke up a brisket this weekend, he said. But, uh, you know, he gets going with that meat and, uh, I guess I didn't realize how much he eats. All right, there we go. And then I'm going to just put these, the rest of these onions over the top here. Now the plan is, is I'm going to cook this on low for eight hours. Come back and shred it all up. And mix some of Gary's uh, pork barbecue sauce with it. That's the plan. It has some pulled pork on it. I plan to have it over rice. You can have it with sandwiches and... All of that so uh, with coleslaw and all now last part now this is where I uh, I'm improvising a little bit I've got some just simple apple vinegar now vinegar does a nice job of breaking down the meat and making it more tender so the slow cooker does its thing I'm gonna go with half a cup of apple cider vinegar just kind of pour that in and then half a cup of orange juice. Again, the citric acid breaks down the meat, so that's why they put a lot of times they put orange juice or lemon juice in marinades, because it breaks the meat down. Now, the as the onions cook, it's gonna release, you know, water from the onions and the meat, of course. So this is gonna, we'll see if that's too much, and I'll let you know. Uh, if I'd scale that back, I, 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 I but I do like the, I want to plenty of vinegar going through and, and the orange juice cooking through and breaking that meat down and, and also. Now I'm going to put it on uh, high for about an hour or so to get it nice and warmed up. And then I'm going to take it down to low and go about my day. So, Okay, that's been eight hours. I'm going to go ahead and turn this off and let's take a look here and see how we're doing. Now, <clears throat> first look here, seems like a lot of liquid, but really, well, it's not too bad. And it, I'll tell you, I'm, I'll tell you now, it smells amazing. What I'm going to do is take this meat out, and I'm going to put it in this little bowl right here. And uh, let me get the camera around here. Get a little closer so I don't make as big a mess. And I'm going to kind of break the meat up. Now I've got some tongs. I'm going to use a fork. 
And what I want to do is, so the meat's falling apart at this point, get some of the bigger pieces out and kind of break it up. Now, if you may, you may notice some flecks of red in there. So after, after I uh, finish the last section of the video, I, uh, I realized that uh, I had forgotten to put in these nice red peppers that I had gotten. Uh, so just, just regular old red peppers, just to give it some extra color. And of course the smell is amazing. But you can see this meat's just falling apart. So I'm going to get these big pieces out. Uh, do I even need those? That spatula there. I just want to break this meat up. And what I'm going to do after I break the meat up is pour off that liquid and because I don't want it wet but I'm gonna get the meat I'm gonna get the meat all good and I'm gonna get that I'm gonna save the onions and the peppers I don't want to mix that all together and then I want to put put some sauce that I got from from Gary in there some just some mustard based barbecue sauce so I'm going to get the big pieces out. When I get all the big pieces out, then I'm going to go with a colander and try to, yeah, this is a lot of meat. <laughs> I think I'm going to be freezing some of this. But I'm going to drain, uh, once I get the big pieces out, then I'm going to drain off the, uh, the liquid and then put this back in there and mix my sauce in with it. So, so this was about eight hour cook. And it's uh, it did the trick, boy, and it smells great. And I like the vinegar, like I said, the vinegar with the the orange juice, the citrus juice there to kind of help break the meat down. It really, and you can see it's really tender. See that? It's all tender. It's just fork tender. So now you can cut back on the the onions if you'd like, and and add you know anything else you'd like I, I, I like the look of the red peppers in here and obviously you could cut back on that the hot pepper the flakes of hot pepper as well if you don't want it a little I like a little bit spicy so anyway all right now I'm gonna pour this juice off and and then put this back in there and I'll be right back stand by one all right, so <clears throat> I drained it off, and now I'm using uh, some of Gary's. Uh, now I'm guessing, but the fact that he gave it gave it to me in this that it's probably mustard based. And looking at the color, I would say that's probably a safe bet. So I've got uh, vinegar, a vinegar, a slow cook on the pork, and then I'm going to finish it off with a mustard based sauce that I'm just kind of basically. Just turning it, trying to coat it all and get a nice coating. I've got a nice pot of rice going. I'm going to just mix this together nice. Yeah, I think I'm going to have some leftovers here. thinking. I think I, might, I may need Nate's help eating this. Benjamin. <laughs> I'm get to finish this off and get some more sauce in here. And I'm going to put it over some rice, and I'm going to taste it, and I'll be right back. Stand by one. All right, there it is. See the steam coming off of it? I'm going to be careful. So I love the little flecks of red in it. Uh, I love I love onions. And uh, oh, I've, been, I've missed you so much, pork. <laughs> so let's give this a try. See how it is. Mm. Well. Um, I can ask, try and ask Gary what the uh, recipe for the salsa, but he said it's a secret. So um, you could use any kind of sauce, um, you know, from the store or something. So after you shred it, just mix the sauce in and mix it all up. And, you know, putting this over a sandwich with some coleslaw, ooh, pulled pork sandwich, man, that's good. Or over rice, that's good. That is tasty. Mmm, mmm. Cooked all the way through, very tender. Mm, 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 mm. 
Now that's it. Pulled pork in a crock pot. I've been waiting a long time to do that over here. Makes me so happy. So this is the Colonel saying over and out. Oh, don't forget to check the recipe in the directions down below. Okay, over and out.